What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery in Milton, Delaware. This is 60 Minute IPA. Uh, 60 Minute IPA, of course, one of the darlings of the the craft beer world, along with, I guess, what you could call its older brothers. Uh, the 90 Minute IPA and the 120 Minute IPA. Uh, but uh, this is a little bit more of a sessionable uh, beer, as uh, Dogfish Head notes um, on their website. It's hard being the sequel, unless you wrote the original story. Inspired by the continual hopping process we invented with 90 Minute IPA, 60 Minute builds on that one-of-a-kind process and flavor, crafting a solid gold hit that's found its own identity. Brewed using a boatload of intense Northwest hops, we boil this continually hopped IPA for a full 60 minutes, adding more than 60 hop additions continuously to create a bold and timeless flavor. Continually hopped to deliver a pungently citrusy grassy hop flavor without being crushingly bitter, 60 Minute IPA is a surprisingly sessionable IPA for the craft enthusiast. You'll qu quickly see why this sequel has become our best-selling beer and why you'll find yourself coming back to it again and again. 6% ABV, 60 IBU, and just I uh, looked up for reference, the 90 Minute IPA is 9% ABV, 90 IBU, and the 100, 120 Minute IPA is 15 to 20% ABV and 120 IBU. Let's check out the beer. Okay, so a very nice yellow color. Uh, quite cloudy, surprisingly cloudy, dare I say, for a, for an IPA, but it's a, a real pretty color though. Uh, maybe just about a finger's worth of head, maybe just a hair under. And as it holds up to the light, it really kind of retains the the orange to orange gold uh, color to it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, not seeing much in the way of carbonation shooting through the glass, though, with all the, all the occlusion. That's maybe not super surprising. The head's hanging on fairly well, so... Uh, we might have some carbonation coming up through there. It might just be, uh, be good at hanging around. Regardless, let's try it out. Hmm. So I will freely admit, despite this uh, saying it's a sessionable IPA, I really did not expect one. <laughs> uh, I, th I expected something uh, far, far hoppier, far more bitter, uh, Certainly nothing as balanced as this. The bitterness does exist, uh, especially towards the back of the drinking experience. And there are plenty of hop hop notes in there. I'm especially getting the uh, a little bit of the grassiness. I'm getting kind of some citrus up front. But there's also a a slight hint of uh, of kind of some roasted or toasty malts in there as well. Um, I'm, again, more towards the back, maybe even in the aftertaste a little bit, but it's definitely there. Which admittedly, I will have trouble um, finding the maltiness in so-called balanced, well-balanced IPAs. Uh, not in this one. This one, this one for me is very, very well balanced. But yeah, hit a hit a, a hint of citrus in the front. Um, again, more grassy, maybe just a hint of pine as well uh, towards the back end. Along with that, yeah, the the maltiness really comes through as a, an aftertaste, uh, as much as I think. I think in the in the active drinking experience, it really uh, provides a, a balance and maybe even cuts down on the bitterness a little bit. But the flavor of the malt really comes through in uh, in the aftertaste, at least for me. Uh, but I'm enjoying that a lot, a lot more than I expected. I, I, I knew, I knew it would be very good. I, I, of course, as I said, this, uh, this is a 60-minute, as well as its uh, relatives are... Or darlings of the craft beer world, uh, and so I. But I, I, as I said, I expected more, much more of a hop bomb. But really, this is something 
very, very well balanced that I'm finding I'm able to enjoy overall. Uh, really, really terrific beer from Dogfish Head. So that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find all those links and usernames in the description below. And if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.